Okay, first and foremost, I want to give all honors and praises and glory belongeth to my Lord and Savior, whose name is Yahweh by Sham Yahabashai, by Hashem Kodash. The name of the Heavenly Father is Yahweh, and His Son's name is Yahabashai. And double honors to the elder apostles of Great Millstone that teach His truth well, and that continue to teach His truth well, and to the hopeful elect across the globe and to the few the very few brothers and sisters listening and also learning across the globe this lesson is going to be based on what envy and jealousy does okay notice the pattern between joseph and jehovah shai or should we say yosef yasaf okay you notice the pattern remember joseph was sold into a egypt out of envy and even with um Cain and Abel why did Cain kill Abel B because of envy why was Yahabashai sold by the chief priest out of envy so we're going to get into these scriptures the dangers of envy okay and somehow that spirit has crept up in the truth okay it from from low even high up even men high up in the truth that should, should know better, they're moved with envy. It's a horrible world we're living in. Let's go to Acts 7 and 9. It's a horrible world we're living in. And that word envy, Baba Kasha, quickly type it in in the Greek. Strong's G 5355. Thanos. 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 Envy. For envy, prompted by envy. In other words, moved. Ill will, so ill will comes from envy, okay, as detraction, i.e. jealousy, spite, and the scripture says wisdom will not dwell into a malicious soul, you're not going to be efficient in the truth if you're malicious, if you're jealous, if you're envy, not as wrong with admiring, but to envy, that's off, that's, that's you wanting what somebody has or you hating someone for what they possess. Let's quickly go to Acts 7 and 9. And this is when Stephen was quoting all the, old, all the Old Testament. All the Old Testament. He was quoting the things that happened back then until that time. And this is Acts 7 and 9. And the patriarch, the, am I saying it right? And the patriarch, patriarchs, okay, the forefathers, okay, moved with envy, sold Joseph. So they were moved by the spirit of envy. Satan jumped on them. Sold Joseph into Egypt. Because they were hating. It was through envy. But the Most High was with him. And delivered, and delivered him out of all afflictions. And gave him favour. So it may, in the sight of Joseph. It may have seemed like the bad thing at that moment. But it worked out for him. And gave him favour and wisdom in the sight of Pharaoh. King of Egypt. And he made him governor over Egypt. And all his house. Okay. So it worked out for the betterment of Joseph. But we're going to the main point. Because the main point is what envy. So they were moved with envy. Jealousy. Okay. And Joseph, what was he? He was one of the youngest. Yeah, was he, was he, yeah, he was the youngest. So obviously they were moved with jealousy. That's why jealousy ain't a good thing. And when you go into Yosef. Let me just say Yosef. So like yo, bear me just a minute. Yeah, the eldest the eldest son of Jacob by Rachel Salakia. So like the youngest was Benjamin. Okay, the father of Egal, he represented the tribe of Iscar among the spies. The son of Asaf. Give me just a minute. Oh no, there's different ones. Bear me just a minute. Yep, Joseph, the name of one of the seven Israelites. Okay, Joseph. One of one of the youngest sons of Jacob, Salakia. You know, my mind's all, all over the place, Salakia. One of the youngest sons of Jacob, with the exception of Benjamin, who was sold by his brethren into Egypt and afterwards rolled the highest honours. Okay. Now let's get to the point. Okay. And this is for edification. It's not a it's not it's not a pity party, it's for edification. Okay. Bear me just a minute. Luke sixteen and fourteen. And 
And again, even with Sal, it was the same. It was the same example. Sal, Sal was moved with envy. Why? Because he saw the spirit was dealing with what King David. And what did that cause Saul to do? Try and take up. So envy's a bit. This. this so, so hold on a minute. Sal, Cain, <laughs> Cain. Okay, Joseph, uh, Joseph's brothers. Who else? Um, yeah. So, all these were examples of jealousy, envy, what it does. It ultimately leads to murder and all the other sins underneath the underneath from um, heaven. Bear me just a minute. Okay, I want to get this in the right order. Let's go to Mark 15 and 10. Baba Kesha. Mark 15 and 10. That's why I pray to Yahweh by Shem Yahweh. I don't get that spirit. I, if I see a brother excelling in the truth, I'm happy for him. I'm happy for him. Okay, see, the house of David promotes growth. The house of Saul promotes no, 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 no. No young leadership. Nah. That's the, what the house of Saul promotes. Let's go to Matthew. That's why you've got certain men in camps that are not growing. As long as you're not growing above them, they're fine with that. That's a wicked spirit. Mark 15 and 10. Let's go. Bear me just a minute. Let's go to 9. But Pilate answered them saying, we, Will ye I release unto you the king of the Jews? Because Pilate was looking to release Yahweh Shai because he knew he was innocent. Verse 10. For he knew, Pilate knew, that the chief priests, the wicked chief priests, which are Israelites that are back in the truth today. Okay, bear me just a minute. That are back in the truth today. Okay. Delivered him for envy. So it was out of envy. They knew. Uh, it's not that a lot of the. Alright you had some Pharisees that didn't know who Yahawashai was. In the spirit. But a lot of them were just playing dumb. A lot of them knew who he was. They knew he was the Messiah. They saw the miracles he was doing. So they were seeing a lot of these miracles. They were jealous. They were envious. But the chief priests moved the people that they should rather release. By rubbers unto them. Okay. A thief. Okay. And you had two thieves. One thief was um in, in humility. The other was proud. Okay. Bear me just a minute. So let's go to Luke 16 and 14. People are going to hate you for your spirit. Okay, if the Holy Spirit's on you and the, this is it, if the Holy Spirit's on you and it ain't on other people, what do you think the what do you think the result of that's gonna be? Envy, hate, you know? Because a man can have all the likes in the world, all the followers, but he could be lacking one major ingredient, faith and the Holy Spirit. So if people see you with that, even if you ain't got much views, they're gonna hate. Let's go to Luke 16 and 14. Thirteen, no servant can serve two masters. This was when Yahushua was speaking, because you had the Pharisees. They had, well, they were claiming to be in the truth, but they were serving who? Esau, the Herodians. For even we he would hate the one, they were serving the world, and loved the other. Because you got men that were even come to camp, but their whole, their whole uh, manner of conversation is of the world, or else he would hold to the one, and love the other. So Yahushua was saying, look. All in or nothing. You've got to be about what you have a shy. And despise the other. You cannot serve the most high and mammon. And mammon is the what the god of money. Which is an idol. And he said unto. Bear me just a minute. And verse 14. And the Pharisees. Here we go again. The Pharisees always popping up. Also who were covetous. So they. Hold on a minute. Hold on a minute. You know when you go into Matthew 23. You see all the characteristics of the Pharisees. But now it also says. They were also covetous. And these men, they were doing quite well in the Roman Empire, but they were still covetous. Why? Because they lacked something. Okay? Which is true piety. They lacked that. You know, true godliness. So they were envy, envious that when they saw godliness, which was Yahabashai. <laughs> okay? And when they heard all these things, they derided him. Another one started talking shit, scoffing. You've got to understand what was going on in these times, 2,000 years ago. This was going on. 
okay they had a problem with Yahweh Shai okay and really they had a problem with the Heavenly Father but they were always personalizing it okay so bear me just a minute let's go to Proverbs 14 and 30 Baba Kasha we're gonna shut off it's just a topic of interest bear me just a minute Proverbs 14 and 30 shouldn't be no, no brother in this truth I'm talking about no not one single brother in this truth should be jealous or envious of another brother that's just that's just off and that's a woman's trait okay that's why the scriptures say <laughs> um through her we all die okay fear who we all die a man that is born of a woman is full of trouble because what do bitches do breed envy okay women breed envy you see a woman trait bear me just a minute proverbs 14 and 30 that's their feminine spirit a sound heart is the life of the flesh and what gives us a sound heart sound mind the words of wisdom being grounded in these words but envy the rottenness of the bones so that's what envy does it rottens your bones see Sal he was being consumed with envy and that was basically killing him envy it, 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 it kills you because it's like you're holding on to something you're holding on to hate that kills you <laughs> you understand what I'm saying that's why it's not good to have that spirit okay be satisfied with your portion stop envying you you would think you're in the truth there ain't no thing ain't none of these things gonna happen no these things happen you understand bear me just a minute shut off on this ecclesiastes 14 and 8 the envious man have a wicked eye or red eye some call it green eyed i call it red eyed the envious man have a wicked eye he turneth away his face you gotta watch out for men that do they're always turning away their faces okay and despise if men because they don't want you to notice it and despise if men so there's envy there a covetous man's eye is not satisfied okay so he's always watching what you have okay with his portion because he's ungrateful and the iniquity of the wicked drive up his soul that's why you've got to focus on yourself we already went into the scriptures what envy does put pure examples the example with joseph why he was sold out of envy the example if you have why he was given up to the chief priest to, to Pilate out of envy and we don't even need to go into the rest of the the situations Cain, why did he kill his brother out of envy son why was he chucking javelins at david out of envy so the examples are all throughout the scriptures so this shouldn't be happening okay so until the next time we'll shut off here and until the next time shallow arm to the hopeful elect and you brothers that are pushing keep on pushing keep on striving and even you sisters as well you keep watching okay and supporting the brothers until the next time shallow arm.